I'm now going to introduce the DL9118 multifunction tester from Dialog Test Equipment. The instrument is designed to be suspended from your neck using the harness to give you full hands-free operation and also give you full visual and control of your, of your test leads and also keep it on, on your screen as well. Looking at the front of the dial, it's a very, very clear rotary switch that indicates all the test features. So to the left, you've got your dead tests, to the live voltage test at the end, and to the right, you've got your live test from left impedance to LCD testing. Function keys from top to bottom have various functions depending on what test you're carrying out at the time. These are clearly identified on the screen as you select each test. And the test button is very, very clear to press when you're ready to perform. Top of the instrument, you've got three inputs. You've got your red, your green, and your black. You've also got the option for your right test probe to be plugged into the live section of the top of the instrument. So if you're testing continuity and insulation, you use the red and the black connection. All the live testing requires three wires. So you're live, you're left and neutral for the loop and the LCD test. If you're measuring three phase, the instrument is clearly identified line one, line two, and line three. So look at the tests themselves. So continuity we've got to look at first of all. So it's got some unique features uh, for this tester. It's got automatic start. So if you, once you apply a resistance or the tester sees a resistive value when performing the continuity test, the tester will start automatically giving you total hands-free operation without the need to press the test button. The tester will perform manually by pressing the test button and you've also got the option to use a remote test probe which plugs into the top of the instrument to start the test. This applies to insulation as well as all the live tests. So the tester itself has got a fully integrated protection system. So if you do happen to have live voltage or mains voltage in excess of 50 volts on any of the conductors whilst performing dead tests, the instrument is fully electronic and protected. So your display will indicate that you've got voltage present, whatever that may be. The screen will turn red, it will go into the alarm mode and the test button will be inhabited on all tests. Look at the insulation test, you've got the option to select 250 volt, 500 volt or 1000 volt. With the option to start the test with the remote test probe. You've also got a lock option so you can lock the test button on continuously for multitude of testing multiple circuits at the same time. Or you've got manually to press the test button to start. Again, you've got the fully integrated protection, so if you do find that you've got mains present on insulation tests when performing the dead test, then the tester will go into alarm mode, the screen will change red and indicate that there's voltage present on the circuit. The last test on this, this cycle is, is your voltage indication. So whether it's single phase or three phase, it automatically senses what you're measuring. So if it's a standard single phase circuit, it displays the voltage and frequency, if you're testing three phase, it has got an inbuilt phase sequencer, which will indicate whether your L1, L2, and L3 are in the correct sequence or whether it's reversed. <clears throat> at the live tests on the other side of the instrument, so you've got your F4 loop impedance, so you've got ZE, ZS at high current, ZE, or sorry, ZS at low current. But this incorporates our new RC Lock XLT feature, which is our new patented technology that we've developed. So this performs a very, very low current loop test without tripping any RCD or RCBO and the, the, the results that you get every time are very, very accurate. So this is starting, it can start automatically as well. So as you can see the display here, automatically it's lit. Um, all the features and all the, the functional settings that you set this tester are all stored internally. So even if the batteries are depleted, if you restore the battery power, the instrument turns back on and it automatically remembers all the settings from previous. So you don't have to set the instrument up each time you use it. So the auto test will start automatically. So as soon as it sees voltage present on the circuit, it will check the polarity is correct. And it will give you a three second warning and the test will automatically start. This is a really, really good feature if you're testing at a fuse board, distribution board, or you're testing at a light, lighting circuit uh, where you need both hands to have full control. Moving across to our RCD testing now, we've got the full auto test function. This will run a full sequence on your half, your one, your time, five times current of the relevant RCD level that you're testing. So this is done on both sides of the RCD, whether it be zero or 180. 
You could quite e very, very easily recall the information by using function three, and that will give you all the relevant test results to record onto your test certificates. The RCD test can be completed manually, so you've got four controls, so you can specifically do a half cycle test for four times the current or five times the living current. And it gives you full range of testing on RCD, so function four comes into play, so you can range anything up to 500 milliamp down to as low as 10 milliamp. And the final feature you've got on here is RCD ramp test. So this gives tripping current, so you get an idea of what to what level your RCD or RCBO is tripping out at. So a 30 milliamp RCD, for example, may well trip out 21, 22, 23 milliamps. Um, but on the flip side, it could be tripping 16, 17 milliamps, which is very, very close, uh, especially if you're going on site to identify or investigate nuisance tripping. So you can eliminate anything on the installation and the RCD before you move on to diagnosing the fault. So I hope that gives you a bit of an, an overview of the DL918 multifunction tester from Dialog. Please visit www.dialog.co.uk for more information. Thank you.